guys, it's Rachel here, and today I'm going to be filming my Booktubeathon wrap up. Now, I know it's like 5 30 where I am right now, and that Booktubeathon doesn't end until technically midnight. However, I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to be reading very much more than what I have already read because I have a lot of stuff that I'm doing today, and so I want to go ahead and get this up for you guys anyway. So, this should be posted tomorrow. Um, I, overall, I think I had a really, really good um, readathon. I am really proud of myself. I managed to read five books and one graphic novel. So that brought my total page count to 1,616 pages. Now for me, that is really, really good considering that the past couple months I have not been reading a great deal of books. So I'm really proud of myself that I managed to read all of these books. So I'm just going to be sharing with you guys the books that I did manage to read. I did not complete all of the challenges. However, I did do a few of them and I'm really proud of myself for what I did. The only two challenges that I, I think, the only two challenges that I did not complete are going to be the book to movie um, book and then the book that was recommended to me simply because um, I was kind of running out of time. And um, so I'm so sorry, Max. And I'm so sorry, um, Ashley. I will be finishing this books this month though, so don't fret. Um, but like I said, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the books that I managed to finish this month. So the first book that I read was going to be my graphic novel pick and that was going to be Sandman Volume 1 and this is by Neil Gaiman with artwork by Sam Keith, Mike Jigenberg, and Malcolm Jones III. This is the first volume called Preludes and Nocturnes and this book was really interesting. The artwork is really pretty in this book. Like I like how the pages are done in this. Um, I really enjoyed it. I'm not it's kind of hard to explain what this book is about. I mean, we got, we start off with um, some characters, and I guess this is mostly about the Sandman. The Sandman is captured. He is held prisoner for so long, and then he escapes, and now he needs to um, get revenge, and so he goes to look for the three things that help him to become stronger. It's really interesting. It's really dark. Um, it's not, I wouldn't say graphic, but this is a really dark book, really dark graphic novel, and I really enjoyed it. I will be continuing with the um, graphic novel, so... In case you guys are curious, the next three books that I read are going to be the books that I completed for my um, start and finish a series challenge. So I decided to go ahead and do the summer trilogy. So I picked up the summer that I turned pretty. It's not summer without you and will always have summer. I read these in the span of three days. I read a book a day. They were really, really quick to get through and I was really, really happy about that. Um, will I say that I liked this? it was okay it wasn't Jenny Han I have like a love hate relationship with Jenny Han and her characters her writing is really easy to get through really simple really nice I really enjoy Jenny Han's writing style however her characters are really really frustrating and flawed and um just like with Tell the Boys I've Loved Before where I didn't really care for Lara Jean, I really didn't care for um, Belly in this uh, trilogy. She couldn't make up her mind. She was so indecisive. She was incredibly immature, especially in this one. She was incredibly immature, which um, I mean, I can't, I mean, she was the most immature in It's Not Summer, or We'll Always Have Summer, but um, I mean, I knew who she was going to end up with the entire time, but um, the route, the, the amount of time that it took to get there was a little bit frustrating. Would I recommend this? I would probably recommend this to somebody who wants a lighthearted, um, quick read. These were really easy. Like I said, I finished all three books in three days, and um, I guess I enjoyed them. There were several times where I did enjoy some of the quotes in there. Like I said, I like Jenny Han's writing style, but these are the next three books that I read for the Booktubeathon. The fourth book that I read is going to be The Giver by Lois Lowry. Now granted this was not in my original um, Booktubeathon TBR. I just was um, kind of bored one night and I couldn't sleep so I got up and I decided to pick this up. I've had this for quite some time and I've never read it before so I went ahead and gave it a go. It was only 179 pages so it was very very quick to get through. Um, did I enjoy this? Yes I enjoyed this quite a bit. It was um I, you know, I don't know what I was expecting from it. Um, I know it's like considered a classic and many people read it when they're in school. I was not one of them, but I really did enjoy it. One thing that I can say though, and I will talk about it more in my uh, July wrap up, is the I watched the movie trailer for The Giver and I am a little bit shocked. Um, I've talked to more than one person about how I feel the feels that I feel in regards to the trailer. It's um, really bizarre. This book is not suspenseful. This book is not... Um, 
there's no like extreme conflict there's internal conflict but there's no extreme conflict there's no battle scenes there's no war there's no suspense there's nothing none of that stuff going on in here this is really just a character trying um or the char a character finding out that the world he lives in may not be exactly what it seems um there is no really no romance um it, this is a very simple book and I love that about it so I don't know if I'm going to watch the movie when it comes out but yeah and the final book that I will be finishing today is going to be Cruel Beauty by Rosamond Hodge I picked this up a couple days ago I'm currently on page 108 and I I am enjoying it um the thing that I'm finding more and more with YA right now maybe it's because I'm in an adult mood is that the main characters can be are really extremely frustrating to me um, this is, as you all know, got a lot of hype several months ago, and this is a Beauty and the Beast, Beauty and the Beast retelling. Um, the main character is really, um, <laughs> complains a lot, let's just put it that way. I am enjoying it though, and as always, just like I felt with when I read um, Shadow and Bone by Leigh Bardugo, I love the bad guy, and I know he's a bad guy, but I'm still in love with him. Um, I really, really like... Um, the beast so to speak in the story so far I find his cockiness and his attitude to be really nice so I'm enjoying him but yes yeah, so this will be the final book that I read for the booktube -a so like I said overall I am really proud of myself I'm really proud of how much I read for the booktube -a I know I did not to do any of the um, video challenges but I did not I simply did not have time for that I enjoyed watching so many of them and I'm so pleased that everybody was involved in the booktube -a I was so happy that it really brought the community together in the midst of all the drama that's been going around um, it's really brought us all together and I really really enjoyed that so like I said, um, thank you, um, thank you, Ariel, Raylene, Kat, uh, Katrina, Jesse. I uh, thank you guys so much for um, hosting this, and I just, uh, I just loved it so much. But other than that, thank you guys so much for commenting, liking, and subscribing, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.